So, I already made a video about this, but I'm going to elaborate. So, people are always trying to impress the chosen one. I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's on like a subconscious level, they register that you're royal. And because they register that you're royal, it's like, let me impress. Like, you know, if like a, the queen or king came to visit you, you would want to impress them. Like, even if you were the most filthy, raggedy motherfucker, like, you would want to try to clean up and act like you weren't. But people be trying to impress me with like certain things that God has not only like taken my appetite, like taken my desire and appetite for, but also reveal like how certain things are just so toxic. So I remember when around 2020, everybody was going crazy about the 5G thing and cell phones and um just frequencies and etc right and i remember like being so fearful i didn't really know anything about it like this was early on in my spiritual awakening or spiritual path i didn't have like i guess a one awakening i don't feel like that was awakening i feel like my first plant medicine experience wasn't necessarily awakening it was like um I don't want to say that like a near-death experience. I was suicidal, but I wasn't in the act of doing it. So it was more like an intervention. An intervention. So I hadn't had any awakenings yet, but I'm like listening. I'm open-minded. I'm listening to all these spiritual teachers, and they're like flipping out about um, cell phones and 5G and frequency and, you know, all of this other stuff. And I remember being paranoid about it, even though I didn't understand it. But... Um, now I'm no longer paranoid about it, but I think the ancestors and my angels and the most high has given me like a very, they don't really give me a fearful perspective. Like I remember listening to so many people in 2020, they were just fear mongering and I like had to just shut it all out. Like I had to shut it all out, like shut it all out. Um, but when the Most High and my angels relay message and my ancestors relay message to me, it's never like the end of the world or a fear thing. It's always like, here's what's going on. It's like a briefing. It's like you're the president. That's really what it's like. It's like a briefing. It's literally like a briefing. Like, here's what's going on. Here's your options. Here's, you know, da, 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 da. Like, and so for me, hold on. I'm going to mark these sweet this. And I don't want things to get cold. And I kind of like burn them but they're like still slapping you know so we're gonna go with it so after so many awakenings i just became like more sensitive and you know for me personally like shrooms as a plant medicine um specifically have always just increased my sensitivity and have always just cut through any blinders. So certain things I didn't want to see or certain things I didn't want to know, certain things I didn't want to feel, um, you know, my spiritual team uses them as to be like, bitch, this is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth. This is it. And so for me, um, I would say the average human shouldn't be worried about those things, you know? Um, but for me, on an energetic frequency level, um, I want to be conscious, right? Because, um, my health, my well-being, how I feel, my vibration is so important to me. I can't control the enemy. I can't control the matrix. I can't control Decepticons. I can't control witches. I can't control warlocks. But I can control my environment, my frequency, the things I have around me, the things I have disrupting my energetic field.
So, and I'm always going to be under heavy spiritual attack because I'm chosen. So, it's so important me, for me to fine-tune my environment. It's so imperative. For the average person, they are not going to feel it. They're not sensitive enough um, to... You know, you know, because I can, you know, sometimes I can feel radiation coming from my phone. I can feel radiation coming from my husband's phone. But these are the the sensitivities that come with being awakened, that come with being enlightened. Right. But it's not a panic. It's not like, you know, um, oh, my God, you know, because of this, I'm going to have, you know, cancer. No, because that wasn't written in my stars. But will it drop my, my frequency? Will it fuck with my energy? Will it? Absolutely. I have shit to do. So that's not in my future. And no matter what, which, what, warlock, whoever tries to rewrite what God, the most high God, the most high mother and father have written for me, it will not be. It will not come to pass. So it's not about, oh, I'm afraid that I'm going to get some type of human disease. No, I'm on a profound mission. That shit doesn't apply to me. Another thing that they told me is that the rules don't apply to you. You know, all these rules y'all put on people, oh, in order to access this, you got to do this, and you got to be initiated, and you got to be vegan, and you got to, it don't fucking apply to me. It doesn't fucking apply. That's what it means to be a supreme sovereign being. All that shit don't apply to me. The fuck? It doesn't. But for my level of sensitivity, do I want to limit certain things? Yes. Do I want to combat certain things energetically? Yes. Do I want to eventually have some form of off-grid living that is not so inundated and infiltrated with frequencies that aren't good for me, my body, and my energetic field? Yes. But it's not no fear mongering panic. Oh my God, the, they gonna kill me with that. I mean, if y'all could have killed me, come on now. Let's let's just be honest. Like, let's just be, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. If you could have killed me, you would have done so by now. Let's keep Let's let's keep that a buckety buck. 